channel and today I am in Joffrey Lake so we are leaving by car and also we are discussing all my friends that should we go to the border and get our work permit or should we apply it online so I should make a separate video on this guys if you want to see comment down below beautiful Vancouver this is the Lionsgate bridge and also while going to Whistler the sea to sky is a very nice highway. It has the most beautiful views. Even if you want to take a day trip, you can just take a day trip and just see the road. It's so beautiful, man. Like really, like when you go to Whistler or when you come back, this road is so good. And also from Vancouver to Joffrey Lakes, it's like 192 kilometers and it takes around two and a half hours to get there so it's a long drive and also there is a lot of walking hiking so get ready guys so guys to go to joffrey lake you need a day pass actually and you can book it only two two three days before at seven o'clock in the morning so i really tried it i got up at seven o'clock in the morning but I still did not get the passes. So we are going inside without the day. So the Joffrey Lake Star has three different lakes. So for the first lake, you don't have to walk. It's like from Pargain, it's like two minutes walk. So we are going to the first lake now. And it's so beautiful, guys. Like we were in awe when we saw it. Also now to get to the second lakes, it's a hike of three kilometers, but it's three kilometers uphill. So there is inclination and it's really tough guys. The hike is uphill and man, it's really tough and really tough for people like me who don't work out, but I see all these old people here and this really motivates us. And there are a lot of waterfalls you can see on the way. It's a nice, beautiful journey with a lot of people. To get to the view, you have to work hard. So guys, this is the second Joffrey Lake. This is so beautiful. It took us almost two hours, two and a half hours because we were resting too much. As you can see guys there are a lot of trees branches which are falling down people usually go on that and take pictures or dive or go swimming but the water is so damn cold because of glacier water and i think this woman tried to stand and take a picture and she fell down like really bad so watch out guys because no one is here three hours interior be careful and don't try stunts until and unless you, there is someone to take care of you <laughs> and also there are nice birds here usually if you give them food they come 
and sit on your hand. So beautiful. And you can also follow me on Instagram to stay updated with all my stories. So now we are going to Joffrey Lake, the last lake. So let's see how it is. The second one was very beautiful. And also from here, you can almost see the view of the lake one, which we went in the beginning. So small, but beautiful. Heaven on earth. So guys, we are almost here. This is a final lake and you could see the glacier from the first lake. We are almost here. Hiking for almost three, four hours. Yes. So from lake one to lake two, it's three kilometers. And from lake two to lake three, it's like one kilometers. Wow. The water is so blue. And also it takes a lot of time because it's uphill guys and you don't have any food please pack good food and enjoy the views and the food with your friends so guys if you're coming here please get yourself day pass if not they will not get, let you in so we went in because we did jugaad so the people who are coming out we asked them can you give us your passes because it is a day pass and they have already used it so that is why we took their passes and now we are here so guys today is canada day so now we are leaving from here and now we'll go to maybe we'll eat something on the way and then we might go to burnaby to see the fireworks on canada day so let's go oh, on your way back from whistler or squamish the road is beautiful sit on the windows so we are back in the city and Vancouver doesn't have fireworks so Canada Day so here we are in Burnaby to see the fireworks Vancouver has been cancelling fireworks in the last two years so we are in Burnaby Central Park to see the fireworks and there are so many people guys people think there is no people in Canada even I think that I cannot see a lot of people here but on days like these, on fireworks and all these days, I can see there are so many people here. It feels so good when people are out there on the streets. I really like it. Also, there were a lot of drawings on the road. It felt so good, guys. And also, I was not here, but friends of mine were here. so. I'm putting videos of the day of people dancing. There were a lot of people dancing, Bhangra, Bollywood music, and people were enjoying a lot. So now it's the finale, the final fireworks. So many people. 